Oh my god. Oh my gosh, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm taking damage. Activate pumps. It's not working. Close watertight doors. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back in Tiny Sailor's World, and today, we are going to have an all-out battle with the Bismarck and the Hood. So yeah, guys, let's get into the video. Alright, so here we have the Hood. This is a British Royal Navy battleship, and this ship unfortunately did sink in World War II, but so did the Bismarck, and that's who we're going to be fighting today. And who's in the Bismarck? Well, that's Jay Killen. He's roaming around somewhere here waiting to take us out. So, uh, yeah, you want to give a little bit of a history between the Battle of the Hood and the Bismarck, Jay Killen? So I believe it was both the Prince of Wales and the Hood that were ordered to intercept the Bismarck. And unfortunately, the Hood received quite a bit of shelling and exploded in sync within a few minutes. And it really destroyed British morale because it was originally thought by them that the Hood was invincible. Yeah, so didn't the uh, Germans also think that the Bismarck was indestructible and invincible? And then when that sank, it also lowered morale for them? I believe so, because the Bismarck was like a really advanced battleship at the time. And yeah. it was very difficult to sink her. So yeah, I guess you could call it a win-win for both sides here. So let's go ahead, let's make our way around the island here, and let's see if we can find Jay Killen. I think you're roaming around somewhere here. Let's take a look at the binoculars. So I don't see anything over there. The question really is, is where could you be hiding? You're in such a large battleship. So I would assume not many places. Sort of like the calm before the storm. There's nothing in the distance. There's nothing around us. Just silence. Now, I should say that these models look fantastic in the game. They've got lots of details. There are even little rafts and little railings and all sorts of stuff on the deck, including the anti-aircraft guns. And you have to remember that this is a mini ship. This is not like a full-size ship, so you can only get so many details on this vessel so yeah it looks really good oh my gosh oh my gosh whoa holy cow okay that was insane all right aim the guns prepare for battle here we go fire oh we just took damage pump some watertight doors oh oh we're screwed we are so screwed history may repeat itself fire in the hole Ooh, there we go. We got a hit. How are you feeling? Not too good. I am so slow. I'm only moving at like 15 knots. So this is uh, this is rapidly uh, slowed down at this stage. All right, I got to try to fire again. Yeah, there we are. And uh-oh. Um, well, I guess I just have to say it. You sunk my battleship. You almost sunk me. I was at like 100 health or something. Oh, so, really? Yeah, oh, my gosh. I had to do the pumps. Yeah, I'm starting to roll over. Uh, my ship is, like, leaning heavily to one side right now. So, yeah, I guess history has repeated itself. I mean, the Bismarck gets away with pretty severe damage, but uh, is still alive. And the hood is going to the bottom. And it's also rolling over. Wow, this is really cool. Now, I could be wrong about this, but did most battleships in World War II basically capsize? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, then, I guess this is pretty accurate. I'm not sure if the hood capsized but if it did this is pretty accurate i guess from what i remember it actually i think it ignited one of the um ammunition i guess storages and it basically exploded and it just it broke in half pretty much from really? the explosion and sank within a few minutes i believe wow oh my gosh i like how you just came speeding out of the port right in front of me you were like sitting there waiting for me to arrive and then there you were well, there it is. The ship lies in pretty much just one piece on the bottom on its side. And over time, the ship would probably just collapse down. The superstructure would fall onto the seabed, and it would really just be the hull left. So let's go ahead, let's respawn the hood, and let's see if we can finally take out the Bismarck. All right, we are back, and we are going to sink the Bismarck. I mean, if the Bismarck sinks us, that'll be really embarrassing, but uh, we'll see what happens. I'm searching for somewhere. you. Somewhere. Yeah, somewhere, but you can't go far. Oh boy, there you are. Hello, how are you doing? You're going to die now. Fire in the hole. 
Did I miss you? Oh my gosh, that Ooh. was incredibly violent. Oh wow, I just narrowly escaped that. Holy cow. I can see you're trying to turn away right now. That is not going to happen. All right, fire in the hole. There we are. We got some serious damage. So you're at 300 health. Oh, shoot. The hood is taking damage. Let's close those watertight doors. There we are. Ooh, that was close. Well, there's always the ramming maneuver. So uh, let's try that. Good luck against this one. Wow. I don't know if you just saw that there, but I came within a couple feet of your bow. Yeah. Let's get those binoculars out. There he is, right there. These night vision goggles are really helping us out here. So we gotta turn around quick. Looks like the sun's about to come up. Alright, here we go. Oh my gosh, I've just been hit. I'm sinking again. That is so embarrassing. I can't believe this. You sank me once. I damaged you significantly. I come back in a fully brand new battleship. And you sink me again. Well, there's only one ship that can take care of a situation like this. That's the SS oh, Gillette no. 3. We're going to make sure that our pumps are on, our watertight doors are closed. And look at that. We got our victim in sight. So our goal right now is to split the Bismarck in half. If we can do that, we have succeeded. So uh, are you freaking out a little bit over there? A little bit. Just a little bit. And it's funny because you're not facing a battleship. You're facing a ocean liner. There's not much you really can do at this stage other than attempt to maneuver your way out of it. Okay, here we go. This is it. This is the end for you. You want to just have your passengers jump ship? I think that would be nope. wonderful. Your soldiers, your, your sailors, I think you should just have them jump ship now. Are you sure? Oh, very clever of you. I guess we're just going to have to do this the uh, old-fashioned way. I like how my ship is going faster than your ship in reverse. Well, I think you're damaged as well, so yeah. Oh, I see your guns are moving. Hello. That's fine. Don't worry. I've just activated my pumps and my watertight doors are closed. I am slowing down, though. Actually, what's your speed right now? 25 knots. No oh, boy. I'm going 27. I'm going to sink you with my stern. I'm going to attempt to. It doesn't seem to be working. I am sinking. The Bismarck is really proving that it is a very strong battleship. I think we need to bring out something a little more powerful. Just a little bit. Now, you may be asking, what's more powerful than the SS Gillette 3? Well, you just wait. Well, this should do the job. Let's go ahead and let's take care of the situation. Just gonna need to increase in speed. And we should that? be set. Don't worry about it. It's, oh my uh, gosh. It's, n it's none of your concern at the current moment. But it will be in a couple of seconds. So do what you need to do to get those uh, sailors off your ship. Because um, this should take care of the problem. I should mention I am moving at uh, over 80 knots, 90 knots now. Oh my gosh. Things may uh, may come to an end for you soon. All right, I'm going to descend a little bit. Just enough so I can destroy the Bismarck. I think, yeah, I can go in reverse. All right, here we go. There's no escaping this. There really is no escaping this. This is the end. It's as simple as backing over the target. What? Did that actually you not work? You just grazed over me. Really? Oh my gosh, you are actually outmaneuvering me. This is hilarious. Okay. We're, we're just gonna have to just take care of the situation. No playing around anymore. Let's just take him out. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm taking damage. Activate pumps. It's not working. Close watertight doors. It's not working. I'm actually losing health right now. For real. Oh my gosh. You're done. You're done. You're done. Yep. There it is. There it is. You're still alive somehow. I don't know how. Alright, I'll try one last time to come around and destroy you. There we go. We're moving at a hundred and... Well. I don't even know. I don't know. What even happened there? I don't know. You know what? 
I know what will destroy the Bismarck. Oh, no. This should get interesting. So the Bismarck versus the Bismarck. Let's see what happens, and let's make sure we're in a different livery than the one he's in right now, because, um, yeah. All right, here we go. We're moving our way over there. Pumps activated. Watertight doors closed. We are ready for battle. Oh, boy, there he is right there, and he's firing on us already. He is eager to win this battle. All right, so if a Star Destroyer can't destroy the Bismarck, then the Bismarck will be able to destroy the Bismarck. Well, theoretically, I guess. Aim up the guns. Fire? Nice. And I'm sinking. Really? You hit me with all of your guns at once. Wow. There it is. Now, speaking about sinkings, other than the one that Jay Killen is experiencing, let's take a look at the uh, sinking simulation. So let's take a look. So here we go in three, two, one, and there we are. Oh, I'm on fire. Wow. Oh, yep. Do you see the massive fireball in the distance? Yeah. Yep. So I think I'm going down. Look at that! Wow! There are actually explosions going on on the deck. That is so cool. The Bismarck is really starting to go down now. This is actually one of the craziest sink by simulations I have seen so far. Well, there she goes. She's rolled over. And, um, yeah, the ship is rapidly beginning to go to the bottom. I'm actually just going to abandon here. And now only the hull is out of the water, so it's pulling a Poseidon adventure. And right over there is Jay Killen, sinking on his side. Oh, going down by the stern now. Let's see, does the stern break off? Nope, and there it is. And it landed upright, like the real wreck, so that is pretty cool. So yeah, that has been the Bismarck and the Hood in Tiny Sailor's World. So definitely check out this update, it was pretty cool. So yeah guys, if you enjoyed this, make sure you leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you soon guys. Goodbye.